Hare Krishna Prabhu Standard Pranam Jai Sla Prabhupada. Okay, who wants to read the Mangalacharan prayers? Caribou, I can read also. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Magnana Timirandasya Gananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militamyena Tasmaisti Gurave Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Svayam Rupa Kadama Yam Dalati Svaparantikam Vandeham Sri Guru Sri Yutapatakamalam Sri Guru Vaishnavam Scha Sri Rupam Sagrijatam Saganaragunatan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Visakan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Pando Jagatpate Kopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneswari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Vancha Kalpata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Pyaevacha Patitanam Pavane Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namo Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Veranta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shunyavari Pashataya Deshatarine Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadar Sri Vasari Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Haribu. Haribu. Okay, so today we are going to read the chapter. Haribu. Haribu, Levang Prabhu. Oh, Haribo. <laughs> Prabhu, are you ready to read this chapter? Oh, I just want to finish off eating, Prabhu. I was just eating. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Okay, then Bhakta Jad, you'll get the opportunity to read about wonderful Krishna. Oh. Haribo. It's, maybe it's a little big. Yeah, now this is nice. Yes, Prabhu. Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Okay. Let me close the door. Chapter 26, Wonderful Krishna. Without understanding the intricacies of Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and without knowing his uncommon spiritual opulences, the innocent cohort boys and men of Vrindavan began to discuss the wonderful activities of Krishna which surpass the activities of all men. One of them said, My dear friends, considering his wonderful activities, how is it possible that such an uncommon boy would come and live with us in Vrindavan? It is really not possible. Just imagine. He is now only seven years old. How was it possible for him to lift Govardhan Hill in one hand and hold it up just like the king of elephants holds a lotus flower? To lift a lotus flower is the most insignificant thing for an elephant. And similarly, Krishna lifted Govardhan Hill without exertion. When he was simply a small baby, he could not even see properly. He killed the great demon, Putana. While sucking her breast, he also sucked out her life air. Krishna killed the Putana demon exactly as eternal time kills a living creature in due course. When he was only three months old, he was sleeping underneath an end driven cart. Being angry for his mother's breast, he began to cry and throw his legs upwards. And from the kicking of his small feet, the cart immediately broke apart and fell to pieces. When he was only one year old, he was carried away by the tree of Arta demon, disguised as a whirlwind, and although he was taken very high in the sky, 
He simply hung on the neck of the demon and forced him to fall from the sky and immediately died. Once, his mother, being disturbed by his stealing butter, tied him to a wooden mortar, and the child pushed it towards a pair of trees known as Yamala Arjuna and caused them to fall. Once, when he was engaged in tending the calves in the forest along with his elder brother Balaram, a demon named Bakashura appeared, and Krishna at once bifurcated the demon's beaks. When the demon known as Vatashura entered among the calves tended by Krishna with a desire to kill him, he immediately detected the demon, killed him, and threw him into a tree. When Krishna, along with his brother Balaram, entered the Talavana forest, the demon known as Denakashur in the shape of an ass attacked them and was immediately killed by Balaram, who caught his in legs and threw him in a palm tree. Although the Denukashura demon was assisted by his cohorts, although in the shape of asses, all were killed, and the Talavana forest was then opened for the use of the animals and inhabitants of Rindavan. When Pralab Moshura entered among his coward boyfriends, he caused his death by Balaram. Thereafter, Krishna saved his friends and cows from the severe forest fire, and he chastised the Kalya serpent in the lake of Yamuna and forced him to leave the vinicity of the Yamuna River. He thereby made the water of the Yamuna poisonless. Another one of the friends of Nanda Maharaj said, My dear Nanda, we do not know why we are so attracted by your son Krishna. We want to forget him, but it is impossible. Why are we so naturally affectionate toward him? Just imagine how wonderful it is. On one hand, he is only a boy of seven years old. And on the other end, there is a huge ill-like governing tree, and he lifted it so easily. O oh, Nanda Maharaj, we are now in great doubt. Your son Krishna must be one of the demigods. He is not at all an honorary boy. Maybe he is a supreme personality of Godhead. On hearing the praises of the current man of Rindava, in Vrindavan, King Nanda said, My dear friends, in reply to you, I can simply present the statement of Gargamuni so that your doubts may be cleared. When he came to perform the name-giving ceremony, he said that this boy descends in different periods of time in different colors, and at this time he has appeared in Vrindavan in a dark color and is known as Krishna. Previously, he has white color, then red color, then yellow color. He also said that this boy was, was once the son of Vasudev, and everyone who knows of his previous birth calls him Vasudev. Actually, he said, but my son has so many varieties of names according to his different qualities and activities. Gargacharya assured me that this boy will be all auspicious for my family and that he will be able to give transcendental blissful pleasure to all the current men and boys in Vrindavan. Even though he will be put into various kinds of difficulties, by the grace of this boy, we will be very easily freed from them. He also said that formerly, his boy saved the world from an unregulated condition and he saved all honest men from the lands of the dishonest. He also said that any fortunate man who becomes attached to this boy Krishna is never vanquished or defeated by his enemy. On the whole, he is exactly like Lord Vishnu, who always takes the side of the demigod, who are consequently never defeated by the demons. Gargacharya Thus concluded that my child will grow to be exactly like Vishnu in transcendental beauty, qualification, activities, influence, and opulence. And so we should not be very astonished by his wonderful activities. After telling me this, Gargacharya returned home, and since then we have been continually seeing the wonderful activities of this child. According to the version of Gargacharya, I consider that he must be Narayan himself, or maybe a plenary portion of Narayan. When all the current men were very attentively heard the statements of Gargacharya through Nanda Maharaj, they better appreciated the wonderful activities of Krishna and became very jubilant and satisfied. They began to praise Nanda Maharaj because by consulting him their doubts about Krishna were cleared. They said, let Krishna who is so kind, beautiful and merciful protect us. When angry Hindra sent torrents of rain, accompanied by showers of ice blocks and high wind. He immediately took compassion upon us and saved us and our families, cows, and valuable possessions 
by picking up the Govardhan hill, just as a child picks up a mushroom. He saved us so wonderfully. May he continue to mercifully glance over us and our cows. May we live peacefully under the protection of wonderful Krishna. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purport of the 26th chapter of Krishna, wonderful Krishna. Haribo. Haribo. Thank you so much, Prabhu. That was really wonderful. Thank you, Prabhu. Okay. Haribo, Prabhu. Oh, this is third one also. Lebon Prabhu, you finished uh, your Prashadam now, okay? Yes, yes, Prabhu. So now, so now you read, Prabhu. Yes, yes. <laughs> you ask me as if I'm, I'm scared to read, Prabhu. <laughs> <laughs> Can I start? Yes, Prabhu. Prayers, prayers by Indra, the King of Heaven. When Krishna saved the inhabit inhabitants of Vrindavan from the wrath of Indra by lifting Govind Govindan Hill, a, Shud a Shudrabi cow from Goloka Vrindavan, as well as King Indra from the heavenly planet, appeared before him. Indra, the king of heaven, was conscious of his offense, offense before Krishna. Before Krishna, therefore, he is st he still. Stiltly appeared before him from a secluded place. He immediately fell down at the lotus feet of Krishna. Although his own crown was dazzling like sunshine, Indra knew about the exalted position of Krishna because Krishna is the master of Indra, but he could not believe that Krishna could come down and live in Vrindavan. Among the cowherd men, when Krishna defined, when Krishna defied, is it defied? Defied the authority of Indra. Indra became angry because he thought that he was all in all within the universe, within this universe, and that no one was as powerful as he. But after the incident, he false puff, he, his false puffed up prestige was destroyed. Being conscious of his subordinate position, he appeared before Krishna with folded hands and began to offer the following prayers. My dear, my dear Lord Indra, Aribol Vivek Prabhu, my dear Lord Indra said, being puffed up by my false prestige, I thought that you had offended me by not allowing the cowherd men to, to perform the Indra Yaga. Is it Yagya? Ne? And I thought that you wanted to enjoy the offerings that were arranged for the sacrifice. I thought that in the name of a Govindan sacrifice, you were you were taking my share of profit and therefore I mistook your position. Now by your grace, I understand that you are the Supreme Lord, the Supreme Lord, personality of Godhead, and that you are transcendental to all the material qualities. Your your transcendental position is Vishuddha. Sadvam, which is above the platform of the material mode of goodness, and your transcendental abode is beyond the disturbance of the material qualities. Your name, fame, form, quality, and pastimes are all beyond this material nature, and they are never disturbed by the three material modes. Your abode is accessible only for one who undergoes severe austerities and prisoners, and who is completely freed from the On slot, on slot, on slot of material qualities like passion and ignorance. If someone thinks that when you come within this material world, you accept the modes of material nature, he is mistaken. The webs of the material qualities are never are never able to touch you, and you certainly do not accept them. When you are present within this world, your worship is never conditioned by the laws of material nature. My, my dear Lord, you are the original father of this cosmic manifestation. You are the supreme spiritual master on, of this cosmic world, and you are the original proprietor of everything. In eternal time, you are competent to chastise of offenders within this material world, material world. 
there are many fools like myself who consider themselves to be the supreme lord or the all in all within the universe you are so merciful that without punishing the offenses is without punishing the offenses you de you de you devise yeah is it device you devise did i get it right prabhu yes prabhu Oh, you device means so that the false prestige is subdued and they can know that you you and none else are the supreme personality of Godhead. My dear Lord, you are the supreme father, you the supreme spiritual master and supreme king. Therefore, you have the right to chastise all living entities whenever there is any discrepancy in their behavior. The father, the spiritual, the father, the spiritual and the supreme executive. Officer of the state are always well wishes of their son, the students and the citizens respectively. As such, as such, the well wishes have the right to chastise their dependents by your own desire. You appear auspiciously on the earth in your eternal verities. You come to glory, you come to glorify the earthly planets and specifically to chastise persons who are falsely claiming to be God. In the material world, there is regular competition between different types of living entities to become supreme leaders of society. And after being frustrated in achieving the supreme position, positions of leaderships, leadership, foolish persons claim to be God. The supreme personality, there are many such foolish personalities in this world, like me, but in due course of time, when they come to their sense Senses, they surrender unto you and again engage themselves properly by rendering service unto you. And that is the purpose of your chastising persons, persons envious of you. My dear Lord, I committed a great offense unto your lotus feet, being falsely proud of my material opulences, not knowing your unlimited power. Therefore, my Lord, kindly ex excuse me be because I am full I am full number one, full number one, rascal number one, full number one. Kindly give me your blessing so that I may not act so foolishly again. If you think, my Lord, that the offense is very great and cannot be executed, excuse, then I appeal to you that I am your eternal servant. Your appearance is in this in this world is to give protection to your eternal servants and to destroy the demons who maintain great military strength just to burden the very existence of the earth. As I as I am your eternal servant, kindly excuse me. My dear Lord, you are the supreme personality of Godhead. I offer my respectful obeisances unto you because you are the supreme person and the supreme soul. You are the son of Vasudeva and you are the supreme Lord Krishna, the master of all pure devotees. Please accept my prostrated, what prostrated obeisances. You are the personification of supreme knowledge. You can appear anywhere according to your desire in any one of your eternal forms you are the roots of all creation and the supreme soul of all living entities due to my gross ignorance i created i create i created great disturbance in vrindavan by sending torrents of rain and heavy hail storms i act out of severe anger caused caused by your stopping the sacrifice which was to be held to satisfy me but my dear Lord, you are so kind to me that you are, you have bestowed your mercy upon me by destroying all my false pride. I therefore take shelter unto your lotus feet. My dear Lord, you are not only the supreme controller, but also the spiritual master of all living entities. Thus praised by Indra, Lord Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, smiling beautifully said, My dear Indra, I have stopped your sacrifice just to show my causeless mercy and to re revive re yeah, revive your memory that i am your eternal master i am not only your master but i am the master of all the other demigods as well you should always remember that all your material opulences are due to my mercy everyone should always remember that i am the supreme lord i can show anyone my favor and i can chastise anyone because no one is superior to me if i find someone overpowered by false pride in other in order to show him my causeless mercy i withdraw all his opulences it is noteworthy 
It is noteworthy that Krishna sometimes remove all opulences in order to facilitate a rich man's becoming a surrendered soul to him. This is a special favor of the Lord's. Sometimes it is seen that a person is very opulent materially, but due to his devotional service to the Lord, he may be reduced to poverty. One should not think, however, that because he worshipped the Supreme Lord, he became poverty striking. The real the real po the real purport is that when a person is a pure devotee, but at the same time by miscalculation he wants the Lord he wants to the Lord it over material nature. The Lord shows his special mercy by taking away all material opulences until at last he surrenders unto the Supreme Lord. After instruct instructing Indra, Lord Krishna asked him to return to his kingdom in the heavenly planets and to remember always that he is never the supreme but is always subordinate to the supreme personality of godhead he also advised him to remain as king of heaven but to be careful of false pride after this the transcendental surabi cow who also came with indra with indra to see krishna offered her respectful obeisances unto him and worshipped him The Sura the Sura B offered her prayers as follows My dear Lord Krishna, you are the most powerful of all mystic yogis because you are the you are the soul of the complete universe and from you only all this cosmic manifestation has taken place. Therefore, although Indra tried his best to kill my descend my descendant cows in Vrindavan, they remained under your shelter and you are and you have protected them all also well we do not know anyone else as the same nor do we go to any other god or demigods for protection therefore you are out you are our indra you are the supreme father of the whole cosmic manifestation and you are the protector of all the cows brahmans demigods and others who are pure devotees of your lordship O super soul of the universe let us bait you with our milk, because you are our Indra, O oh Lord, you appear just to diminish the burden of of impure activities on the earth. In this way, Krishna was bathed by the milk of the Sura bee cows, and Indra was bathed by the water of the celestial gangs. Is it gangs or gangs? Gangs. Oh, it's Ganga Prabhu. It's Ganga. Ganga. Oh, but it does not have double A, Ganga. Okay. Is, Through the trunk of his carriage. This is elephant. After this, the, this, is, this is the British. Sorry, Prabhu. This, this gang is oh. British invention. So we should say gang. Ganga. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. The trunk of his carrier elephant. After this, the heavenly king Indra, along with so Sura, Sura, B cows, and all. On all other demigods and their mothers worshipped Lord Krishna by bathing him with Ganga, Ganga water, and the milk of the Sura bees. Thus, Govinda Lord Krishna was pleased with all of them. The residents of all higher planetary systems, such as Govinda, eh, Govinda Loka. Ganga Loka. No, this... Oh, I thought they saw Govinda. Okay, what do you call it? Please repeat, Prabhu. It's Gandharva Loka. Oh, angels. Gandharva Loka. Yeah, the angels. Peter, they are oh, Peter Loka, Siddhartha Loka, and Chahara, Charana Loka. Hare Krishna, Gyani Prabhu, please accept my humble obeisance. Oh, yes, yes, Prabhu. No, no, this, really nicely. this is chance. Uh, this is uh, something coincidence, you know. <laughs> this is uh, not something, you know. <laughs> we, were spoke, we were speaking about Ganja also, so be careful, Prabhu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need ganja. I, 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 uh, I am already intoxicated. 
can i continue yes problem. oh charana loka is it right now charana loka all combined and began to glorify the lord by chanting his holy name the wives and them themselves is it themselves began to dance with great joy they very much satisfied the lord by in incessantly in say incessantly pouring flowers from the sky when everything was very nicely and joyfully settled the cows over flooded the surface of the earth with their milk the water of the rivers began to flow and give nourishment to the trees producing fruits and flowers of of different colors and taste the trees began to pour drops of honey the hills and mountains began to produce potent medical medi mediclinic yeah, mediclinial mediclinial plants and valuable stones because of krishna's presence all all these things happened very nicely and the low lower animals who were great, generally envious were envious no longer after satisfying krishna who is the lord of all the cows in vrindavan who is known as Govinda. King Indra took his permission to return to, to his heavenly kingdom. He was surrounded by all kinds of demigods who passed with him through cosmic space. This great incident is a powerful example of how Krishna consciousness can benefit, benefit the world. Even the lower animals forgot the en envious nature and became elevated to the qualities of the demigods. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta interpret of the 20th 27th chapter of krishna prayers by indra the king heaven the king of heaven Aribo. 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 <laughs> but what did the animals do thank you so much Prabhu. i missed that part they are just envious prabhu there is no example hmm Oh, oh, there's pictures. Yeah, picture. The god of the waters was holding Nanda captive underneath the sea. <clears throat> he looked quite intoxicated also. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> He looks dumb, actually. Oh, see this part behind the Lord Krishna and Balaram. Is it hard? Yes, it is a hard. Uh, how we call this? Uh, rainbow Icky heart. Delic. Mm. Mm. So who is he, the god of waters? <clears throat> Karuna. Bull, yes, Prabhu. I, I win a cookie now. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> oh, nice. There's normal fish also. Are they demigods or are they fish? See? Prabhu, they have, they have darshan of Krishna, so not ordinary fish. <laughs> this is a and sea dragon also. <laughs> <laughs> this was new to me. This is sea dragon. <laughs> Here is blue sea dragon. Another one. Yeah. What is next? The gopis remember mm. pastimes with Krishna. Yes, this painting, the painter, he took a 
painting from bridge bases and sons. Uh, it was uh, like the official artwork from the inhabitants of Rindavan. And Prabhupada, mm. he said that all these paintings are bona fide. Bridge Bazi and Sons. They are very nice, actually. And so many Iskand paintings are made after these paintings. Yes, Prabhu. Oh, Krishna has red tilak also. I, I like the colors of the painting. Really, really nice colors. Yes, Prabhu, this was really nice one. Next one is, the wives of the Brahmana saw the Supreme Person of Godhead and he entered within the hearts through their eyes. <clears throat> oh, I love that story. I am uh, big the fan wives of, of the Brahmana. Oh, the monkey. I'm a <laughs> fan of the monkey. Thanks for zooming, Prabhu. Yes, so how the monkey got there? <laughs> It's very cute, actually. Yes, Phil. It's in Vrindavan. Monkeys are famous. Remind me of the mini Istagosti. You we, and Semi in this question. We went with Prala Prabhu, so uh, the monkeys are taking all the bags uh, and uh, fruits, whatever the with whatever we. Carry the carry with uh, ours like uh, bags or anything, fruits, uh, sweets. It will take. Hmm. It it was uh, two, was uh, like uh, what we say. Uh, it and what about the phone, Prabhu? The phone. Anyone. They will take the phone, phone also, of, right? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, and we have to uh, give one small fruity juice. Then the, it will leave the phone yes, down, sir. like that. Sometimes it feels like the monkey joins the Vaishnav Sangha. Some, some monkey has stolen someone's phone and they join the Vaishnav Sangha and write some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> it's also another style. Mm. Are you giving me presents, Prabhu? What, Prabhu? I'm saying you're giving me presents. I see everyone's camera is on. I'm like, didn't go on like two. Krishna, the supreme enjoyer, desire to enjoy the company of the gopis. Ribo. Ribo. Oh, this is a really nice one. Painting was so. Out of many thousands of gopis, Radharan is the most prominent. And Prabhu. <laughs> No. I filled in my camera of last week today. I forgot to fill in last week. I don't know what happened. Yes, Prabhu. I forgot also, but I will fill all today because I got full points. Oh, yes, yes, Prabhu. <clears throat> For now, I'm blocking myself like from each and everyone's lecture. I just want to listen to Srila Prabhupada only for now. Mm. Like his lectures, his, me reading and tapes. Oh, it continue. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can try this also. I can read the first page. Chapter 28. Releasing Nanda Maharaj from the clutches of Varuna. The Govardhan ceremony took place on the new moon day. After this, there were torrents of rain and hailstorms imposed by King Indra for seven days. Nine days of the waxing moon having passed. On the tenth day, King Indra worshipped Lord Krishna, and thus the matter was sat satisfactorily settled. After this, on the eleventh day on the full moon, there was Ekadashi. Maharaj Nanda observed fasting for the whole day, and just early in the morning of the Dvadasi, the day after Ekadashi, he went to take bath in the river Yamuna. 
he entered deep into the water of the river, but he was arrested immediately hmm, by one of the servants of Varunadeva. These servants brought Nanda Maharaj before the demigod Varuna and accused him of taking bath in the river at the wrong time. According to the astronomical calculation, the time in the time in which he took bath was considered demoniac. The fact was Nanda Maharaj went, wanted to take a bath in the river Yamuna early in the morning before the sunrise, but somehow or other he was a little too early and he baited at the inauspicious time. Consequently, he was arrested. Hmm. So if we wake up too early, will we be arrested by Varun Varunadeva? <laughs> Like how, Prabhu? If we wake up. What to do, Prabhu? Not wake up. <laughs> if we wake too early, Not do, wake we... Up. do we go back to Like sleep? I don't get it. Like literally, if we wake up too early, or is it figuratively speaking? He woke up really early, but I don't know how early. There is no there is no yeah, Prabhu. I know you wake up at no, one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never been arrested by Varuna. I don't know. <laughs> Babu, Jenny, be careful. Varuna, Varuna. If, you, if you wake up too early, you become a dragon on the picture. You know, so be careful, <laughs> Prabhu. Sea dragon. Yeah, but it's okay if I can become a sea dragon and then I can see Krishna. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I will. I want to become the. But who is the demigod, ne? Prabhu. Is... Yes, Prabhu. I was saying Varuna is a demigod, right? Yes, yes, Prabhu. Oh, okay. So meaning they also take Krishna's orders. Yes, Prabhu. Oh yes. Oh. But, so, but, but he, it is a. Uh... If you if you bath, you know, if you go to uh, some some place and take bath, you know, so it's not like uh, when you wake up and you chant, you know, it's not like this. Yeah, it's based at an inauspicious time, so there is no inauspiciousity for chanting, Prabhu. Yes, but if I go to the shower in the morning. Your Lord Varuna Dev come and take me. <laughs> but this is a shower, Prabhu. This is not a bath. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. It's not the same, you know. Yes, Prabhu. And, and also, this is river. This is river Yamuna. You see, this is very auspicious river. You know, that's like uh, the river here. You know. Yes, Prabhu. And I, so, also. Auspicious. I'm not ever waking up too early, so I don't have this. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to... No, I'm actually, I'm actually adjusting my time like earlier and earlier. Because like now it's like sometimes I go for half past two in mm. the morning. Yes, Prabhu. My best is four. But, Prabhu, but Prabhu, Sami Prabhu, I saw you, you wake up more earlier th those days. Yeah, yeah. I also saw you. You wake up like four or five. It's like four forty five yes. four AM usually. Yes, Primo. Yeah, I noticed I noticed uh, this is more earlier than uh, you know usual, you know? Yes, Prabhu. He wants to chant with the video camera guys. <laughs> yes, <I'm laughs> <I'm> too late. Oh <laughs> 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 yeah. When Nanda Maharaj was taken away by Varuna's servants, his companions began to call loudly for Krishna and Balaram. Immediately, Krishna and Balaram could understand that Nanda Maharaj was taken by Varuna. And thus they went to, to the abode of Varuna, for they were pledged to give protection. The inhabitants of Vrindavan, the inhabitants of Vrindavan, the, unal the unallied devotees of the Lord, having no shelter other than the Supreme Person of God, had naturally cried to Him for help, exactly like children who do not know anything but the protection of their parents. Demigod Varuna received Lord Krishna and Balaram with great respect and said, My dear Lord, actually, at this very moment, because of your presence, I am materially de defeated. 
Although I am the proprietor of all the treasures in the water, I know that such possessions do not make for such successful life. <clears throat> At this moment, as I look at you, my life is made completely successful because by seeing you, I no longer have to accept a material body. Therefore, O oh Lord, Supreme Person of Godhead, Supreme Brahman, and Super Soul of everything, let me offer my respectful obeisances unto you. You are the Supreme Transcendental Personality. There is no possibility of imposing the influence of material nature upon you. I am very sorry that by being foolish, by not knowing what to do or what not to do, I have mistakenly arrested your father, Nanda Maharaj. So I beg your pardon for the offense of my servants. I think that I was, it was your plan to show me your mercy by your personal presence here. My dear Lord Krishna Govinda, by merciful, be merciful upon me. Here is your father. You can take him back immediately. It's so... Because, you know, usually the parents come rescue the child, the children when the children are in trouble. So this is this is completely different than in material in material world, because Krishna is a child and he's coming to rescue his father. <clears throat> but but it, it is also, uh, you know, just like the Shima Bhagavatam said that if we have a good son, then the son can deliver the father because yes, he will correct. become Krishna conscious. Yes, yeah, that's mm. true, actually. And and one thing also I noticed on the you know on, on this purpose is that um, Shila Prabhupada said that we we have to cry uh, uh, just like a, a small baby uh, when he depends of uh, on this parent when when we change the holy name we we need to cry like this just like we depend of Krishna mercy you know and we need to cry just like a small baby when he 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 needs uh, his parent you know yes Prabhu. Like Yes, Prabhu, and here it's, where it was. As I look at you, my life is made completely successful because by seeing you, I no longer have to accept the material body. Mm. So this proves that the sea, sea, the dragons were also, they got, they got. Yes. <laughs> get you see, so, so I want to become a sea dragon now. <laughs> you wake up too early, you need Prabhu, you run away. You continue okay. like this. Bob. It's okay. It's okay. I, I will go to the river in you know next to my house and I will I will bath very early in the morning. Prabhu, Perhaps I, I can I become you, a, a sea dragon. I give you a trick. Prabhupada said when we offer water to Krishna, it becomes a Ganges. So you take a mm. bath, you know, you offer this water and you take bath too early. Then you bath too early in the Ganges, you know. And then you are finished. <laughs> okay, thank you. I will try. Yes. <laughs> this is our secret to become a seahorse in next life. You don't share to anyone. Oh, yes. Thank uh, you. Dragon. <laughs> in this way, Lord Krishna, the Supreme Person of Godhead, rescued his father and presented him before his friends with great jubilation. Nanda Maharaj was surprised that although the demigod was so opulent, he offered such respect to Krishna. That was very astonishing to Nanda, and he began to describe the incident to his friends and relatives with great wonder. Actually, although Krishna was acting so wonderfully, Maharaj Nanda and Mother Yashoda could not think of him as the Supreme Person of Godhead. Instead, they always accepted him as their beloved child. Thus Nanda Maharaj did not accept the fact that Varuna worshipped Krishna because Krishna was the Supreme Person of Godhead. Rather, he took it that because Krishna was a was a, such a wonderful child, he was respected even by Varuna. Hmm. He just thought that oh, Krishna is so wonderful. That's why. <laughs> the friends of Nanda Maharaj all the cowherd men became eager to know if Krishna were actually the Supreme Person and if he were going to give them all salvation. When they were all thus consulting among, the, among themselves, Krishna understood their minds. And in order to assure them for their destiny in the spiritual kingdom, he showed them the spiritual sky. 
generally ordinary persons are engaged simply in working hard in the material world and they have no information that there is another kingdom or another sky which is known as the spiritual sky where life is eternal, blissful and full of knowledge. As it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, a person returning to that spiritual sky never returns to this material world of death and suffering. Krishna, the Supreme Person of God, is always anxious to give information to the conditioned soul that there is a spiritual sky far, far beyond this material sky, transcendental to the innumerable universes created within the total material energy. Krishna is, of course, always very kind to the, every conditioned soul. <clears throat> But as stated in the Bhagavad Gita, he is especially inclined to the devotees. Hearing their inquiries, Krishna immediately thought that his devotees in Vrindavan should be informed of the spiritual sky and the Vaikuntha planets therein. Within the material world, every conditioned soul is in the darkness of ignorance. This means that all conditioned souls are under the concept of this, of this bodily existence. Everyone is under the impression that he is of this material world and with this concept of life, everyone is working in ignorance in different forms of life. The activities of the particular type of body are called karma or fruitive action. All conditioned souls under the impression of the bodily concept are working according to their particular types of body. These activities are creating their future conditional life. Because they have very little information of the spiritual world, they do not generally take to spiritual activities, which are called bhakti yoga. Those who are successful, those who successfully practice bhakti yoga after giving up this present body go directly to the spiritual world and become situated in one of the Vaikuntha planets. The inhabitants of Vrindavan are all pure devotees. Their destination after quitting the body is Krishna Loka. They even surpass the Vaikuntha Lokas. The fact is, those who are always engaged in Krishna consciousness and mature, pure devotion and mature, pure devotional service are given the chance after death to gain Krishna's association in the universes within the material world. Hmm. Yeah, this is the nice point. <clears throat> the fact is, those who are always engaged in Krishna consciousness and mature, pure devotional service are given the chance. Is this? This seems like there is some. discrepancy yes Prabhu in this it seems like it cuts weirdly in this after this in the fact is those who are always engaged in Krishna consciousness and mature it feels like here here would have to be mature in pure devotional service it feels like it cuts with the dots you know I think that's no 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 I think it's perfect Prabhu because if we just read again the fact is those are always engaged in Krishna consciousness and mature pure devotional service uh, yes, Prabhu, yes the Prabhu. two things are given the chance after death to gain Krishna's association yes, in the universe yes, within the material world. So it's, per, it's correct, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Oh, Hare Krishna, West Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Please accept my humble obeisance. All glory to Shri Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Please accept my most humble obeisance. All glory to Shri Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yes, Prabhu. Can you yeah. continue this part? You can finish this chapter. Did I finish the chapter, Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu. It's like... Okay. The fact is, those who are always engaged in Krishna consciousness and mature pure devotion service are given the chance after death to gain Krishna's association in the universes within the material world. Krishna's pastimes are continually going on, either in this universe or in another universe. Just as the sun globe is passing through many places across this earthly planet, so Krishna Leela or the transcendental advent and pastimes of Krishna are also going on continually, either in this or another universe. The mature devotees who have completely executed Krishna consciousness are immediately transferred to the universe where Krishna is appearing. In that universe, the devotees get their first opportunity to associate with Krishna personally and directly. The training goes on, as we see in the Vrindavan Leela of Krishna within this planet. Krishna therefore revealed the actual feature of the Vaikuntalok planets so that the inhabitants of Vrindavan could know their destination. Thus, Krishna showed them the eternal, ever-existing spiritual sky which is unlimited and full of knowledge. Within this material world, there are different gradations of forms and according to the gradations, knowledge is proportionately manifested. For example, the knowledge in the body of a child is not as perfect as the knowledge in the body of an adult man. 
everywhere there are different gradations of living entities in aquatic animals in the plants and trees in the reptiles and insects in birds and beasts and in the civilized and uncivilized human forms of life above the human form of life there are demigods charanas and siddhas on up to brahma lok where lord brahma lives and among these demigods there are always different gradations of knowledge but past this material world in the vaikuntha sky everyone is in full knowledge all the living entities there are engaged in devotional service to the lord either in, either in the vaikuntha planets or in krishna lok as it is confirmed in the bhagavad gita full knowledge means knowing krishna to be the supreme personality of godhead in the vedas and bhagavad gita it is also stated that in the brahma jyoti or spiritual sky there is no need of sunlight moonlight or electricity all those planets are self illuminating and all of them are eternally situated there is no question of creation and annihilation in the brahma jyoti spiritual sky bhagavad gita also confirms that beyond the material sky there is another eternal spiritual sky where everything is eternally existing information of the spiritual sky can ha- can be had only from great sages and saintly persons who have already surpassed the influence of the three material modes of nature unless one is constantly situated on that transcendental platform it is not possible to understand the spiritual nature therefore it is recommended that one should take to bhakti yoga and keep himself engaged 24 hours in krishna consciousness which places one beyond the reach of the modes of material nature one in krishna consciousness can easily understand the nature of the spiritual sky and vaikuntha lok the inhabitants of vrindavan being always engaged in krishna consciousness could therefore very easily understand the transcendental nature of the vaikuntha lokas thus krishna led all the cowherd men headed by nanda maharaj to the lake where akrur was later shown the vaikuntha planetary system they took their bath immediately and saw the real nature of the vaikuntha lokas after seeing the spiritual sky and the vaikuntha lokas all the men headed by nanda maharaj felt wonderfully blissful and coming out of the river they saw krishna who was being worshiped with excellent players thus ends the bhakti vedanta purport of the 28th chapter of krishna releasing nanda maharaj from the clutches of varuna hari bol hari bol hari bol hari bol So if one is perfect in this life he goes to the material u- universe where Krishna is doing his pastimes and he sees those pastimes and af- and during those he is shown his real nature on the vaikuntha lokas just like here was explained Actually this answered a question I had a long time ago you know I had a question like if the soul keeps on getting new material bodies you know the soul keeps transmigrating to more and more material bodies because of their activities Is it also possible for the soul to transfer itself not just to a different planet or a different galaxy within the same universe but also to a different universe altogether and i think this perfectly answers that question that souls can technically transmigrate to material bodies in different universes as well i believe so yeah because the reason I, the reason i asked this question is because the universe has these layers right these shells and to yes. pierce through them is like is a big thing you know that's why i asked if the soul actually trans migrates like this but technically this doesn't quite refer to a material body because obviously if we're going into krishna's association we're accepting a spiritual body still yes prabhu yeah the normal yeah. trans migration happens inside the one universe and i think like this week yeah this week and if krishna is in some other universe then we can go there yeah ribol ribol Yeah, Prabhupada says, he says like it's, it's like, uh, sorry. No, no, Prabhupada, you can continue. Please continue. Sorry. Oh, Prabhupada says it is just like going to hell. We go to hell to become trained and then we can become a pig. So we enjoy. And in the same way, we train ourselves with Krishna in the material universe. And then we are ready to go back to God. Yes, Prabhupada. So actually we should not name our magazine back to god it but back to a uni- material universe where krishna is so <laughs> yes but is it is it is it a spiritual body you have to leave it and spiritual body is eternal so technically i will not say it is my it is spiritual hmm Yes prabhu yeah this i i don't fully understand how it goes because yeah yeah i'm not sure i think i've heard this sometime this was asked but i i didn't under i don't remember the answer what it was do you talk about the swarupa city 
when you go to the planet of Krishna in the material world, are you taking a spiritual body? It is said in Bhagavad Gita in 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 the introduction, Prabhupada said that we have to assume a Spalupa city first. Hmm. Our body should uh, be fully spiritualized, like uh, fully spiritual. Mm. Then we yes. can go to the Vaikuntha planet, spiritual sky. Yes, Prabhu. So there the body gets fully spiritualized. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, be and before that, when when you, you are ready, you can access your body with spiritualized when you are fully Krishna conscious. Mm. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. And at the, at the and, same and time, you can never, it, we can we it is an offense to consider the body of a pure devotee material. So it is a so-called material yes. body we can say also. Mm. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Yes, it's true. Just like Prabhupada, he is such it Ananda Vigraha actually. But you yes. know, people will say no, he had material body, so mm. and ultimate, ultimate ultimately. Everything is spiritual, ultimately. So we can say like that also. Yes, Prabhu. When Krishna was also, when he left the hunter pastime, I think he also left some, as Luves Prabhu said, like dummy body or something like this. To bewilder the atheist. And I think there is one answer about the gopis who could not dance with Krishna. And there were some sages in the past who worshipped Lord Ramachandra. And in some okay. purpose, Prabhupada explains the differences between the eternal gopis and the new gopis. Mm. So if you can look at this purpose, Prabhu, maybe the answer is there also, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. Where it is? Oh, I this know. I do not know, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu, I need to search it. But yeah, I know the I I've heard this be, that before that Lord Ramachandra thing that they they wanted to have this conjugal of. Like, Please remind me on the group of the shloka learning group yes, verse Prabhu. about sages Rama and Gopis. Yes, Prabhu. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna read this topic. That is maybe most one of the most misunderstood things about yeah. Hindus. And... Imagine we all just meet each other on the same planet at the same time and be like, are you Sami Prabhu? <laughs> yes, Prabhu. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Hari Nam Sanketa. It's Jani Prabhu is easy to identify. <laughs> He will spiritualize the guitar also, and the guitar will come. And <laughs> he will be with the. <laughs> he will be easily to. Have the <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I I will go to with my guitar. Yes, no yes. problem. And then, and then Dan Prabhu <laughs> is just printing the magazines on this on the script on the manuscript for all yes. the Brajavasis to read <laughs> back to Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, this... but that would be actually very, very enjoyable if I could just be with you all in the same, in the same, you know, pastime. It would be absolutely insane. That would be amazing. Maybe we pray to but Krishna. You know, you know, Prabhus, we can be an eternal companion of Krishna and be just like Duryodhan, you know, to be an evil guy. Because yes. Duryodhan is an eternal companion of Lord Balaram. So it can be funny, you know. Oh, I have to kill you, but you are Louis Prabhu. Oh, no. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Prabhu. Yeah, but those times are very brutal. I mean, okay, I mean, taking birth again, just to, you know, to associate with Krishna first in his pastimes in this material world, it takes place in an era where things are brutal. I mean, there's war. Yes, Prabhu. Imagine if take... <laughs> you're going to be in the middle of Kurukshetra war, one of the fighters. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Just one random soldier, you know, <laughs> being head beheaded. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> it's very scary, you know. I mean, okay, I'm happy if I if I associate associate Krishna like that. But these sorts of things, you know, like going like retiring after the age of fifty and just taking a stick and just walking to the Himalayas, you know, no jacket, nothing. <laughs> yes, very inconceivably, you know. <laughs> Actually, see. when I was 
when I was in my hippie times, I was thinking that someday I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the Himalayan mountains. <laughs> I was thinking I'm going to take a stick. I'm going to walk to the mountains. But yes, bro. Yeah, totally. I'm very happy I didn't do it. Yes, bro. <laughs> Yes, I'm very happy. I, just... I will become like a rascal yogi in the Himalaya, you know. Yes, Prabhu. Sitting in, in some cave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine yes. Prabhu, Jenny Prabhu, like preparing for doing a Brahmastra, you know, like touching water <laughs> and everything? Oh, we were laughing together on Telegram. Oh, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> but yeah, I think many of those who were in the Kurukshetra war, just like fighters, they also did a lot of pious activities to get to that position. And still they were like having... Yes, Prabhu, time. of course. They, they were... They, they all get um, to Vaikunta Luka, right? All the fighters on the, the, yes, the field of Kuruchitra. Hmm. Yeah, they must have done so much bias activity. Probably. Yes, Prabhu. And I think, I think they all, or I don't, do they all realize like what is happening? Do they realize when they're fighting? No, they are they... bewildered by Yuga Maya, hmm. right? Yes, this is like this, right? Mm. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, that's actually it goes like that. Mm. I hope we actually yeah, I was there, problem. so I I was there. I can't explain, Prabhu. I was one of the soldiers, <laughs> but there was some discrepancy in the system, and I got this Lebanese body, so I've been cheated. <laughs> I am one of the horses, you know. I was some horse. But, in why why is some society here? Why is some society here? <laughs> so I can be wake up tomorrow. So we can take a session tomorrow morning. Yes, bro. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Jai Shah Prabhupada. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh. Actually, eating. This is land dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll, I'd very much like to be a part of this scene. Yes, I, I, I was thinking about this to be sure. <laughs> I don't remember this one. Who's there? Kali, no? But this Kali? Mm. Doga? <laughs> so yeah, probably some kind of demi demigod. Oh, it seems that she, she had a, a, a big bag. Is she, is, is she is counting the only name? <laughs> Hello, Prabhu. Hello, Prabhu. Hello, Prabhu. Yeah, this, this, go, this Korad man is a real friend, you know. He's giving everything. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I need a friend like him, you know. <laughs> I think we'll be fine because obviously if you're taking bus to take part in Krishna's pastimes, chances are we'll probably take part as his friend, you know, like like this as a, as a farmer. Maybe not Kshatriya, so less war, less bloodshed. But some are sea dragons. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would be some, what is this? Is this a dog or... <laughs> We found, we found my form. It's like it's like a fox or something like that. Yes, bro. What is this? All the cow there, you know. 
Oh, de cabo. <laughs> Even the cow is like, okay, who's this? <laughs> The only association is too funny, you know, too enjoyable, <laughs> too blissful. Dear, nice parrots, golden parrots. <laughs> It looks like a dog face, Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. You see what I mean? Yes, but no, no, not this one. The parrot, actually. Oh. You see, it looks like there are two eyes, two dog ears. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> I see it. I I'm see afraid. it. I'm afraid. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we need to add all the HD versions of this in the Krishna book HD version. They're actually very beautiful paintings. Yes, Prabhu. <clears throat> By the way, all the Spotify videos have been uploaded finally to podcasters. Now we're all caught up, you know. Oh, Rebo. like all yeah. the all from the channel. Yeah. Great now work. I think now we have to engage the devotees in the YouTube Shorts seva, where they create some YouTube YouTube Shorts out of heart attack content, and then uh, they'll use some nice BBT paintings for the YouTube Short, and then they'll upload these shorts to YouTube. Yes, Prabhu. I'll be managing the Spotify thing by myself, just like Sami Prabhu is doing with YouTube. Um, and uh, I'll also start um, working on uh, the website for ISKM because Tatra Prabhu wants me to design highly professional website for the ISKM international website and also just the SKM website as well. So you'll see a very nice uh, ISKM website also very soon. Yes, Prabhu. The website is down. down. Yes, Prabhu, it's down. It's, we, need, we need it back. And there was really nice articles also about Sundar Gopal Prabhu and others like this, and they all disappeared. Yeah, but we're all gonna like change the aesthetics of the entire website entirely. Mm. And also the international version of it, which is not at all uh, available at all in general, it's not even been created. I'll actually be designing some very nice ones uh, under the instruction of His Grace Tatwaj Prabhu. We actually had a 30 minute conversation on the voice call today. Oh, very really nice. Yeah, so uh, he instructed me all this and then I told him I'd be more than happy to do it for free and also, you know, high quality yes. because obviously I want to do because it as a sale. While distributing, I say I am part of ISKM. So if there is no website, you know, it is kind of weird for people because they, they search on the internet. Yes, Prabhu. That is why, yeah. Get back. <clears throat> so, yeah, so His Grace Tatwet Prabhu will share some details about this in, a few, in the next few days and then we'll work on it together. I give a very beautiful touch to the to the website. Very professional, you know, all the sliding animations and stuff. Very nice. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, very what, nice. About, what about Nimanitai Prabhu's lectures? They, they are also going to be up today or to, by today or tomorrow. So I'll actually do them probably myself. Or maybe Pranjit Prabhu will just do it as part of finishing the rest of yes, the videos. Prabhu. And also there is Nimanitai Prabhu's, for example, the Ekadashi series. That is also there. There is things like this. Those would be because sometimes I want to hear them, but I cannot because they are not in the Spotify. Because I cannot use it on the background, the YouTube app. So, uh, where is the playlist situated, Prabhu? You know, what Prabhu? Which, which where one? where is the playlist for that situated? Like the the one you were just mentioning. Prabhu's channel. The Kadashi stories. I think there is twenty four videos. Oh, you mean those? Okay, so you mean literally this, the, okay, 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 okay. So the glories of all the 24 Ekadashis each. Yes, Prabhu. Ah. If, the, if Tadvavit Prabhu says okay, then then those would be nice also to have in the Spotify. But don't, all right, then I'll ask him, yeah. Yeah, don't put them bit without asking, because... Of course, of course, I'll definitely ask. I can't do, <laughs> obviously I'll yes. ask. I won't do anything without asking. Because see, the Gopis are playing cartels, Ribo. Violin also. Is this no? This is not. What? What is this? It's some Indian. Must be some. It's not like normal violin, or is it? The thing is, the, the instrument might be natural, but the thing in her right hand, that I don't know. It looks like yes. some violin playing thing, you know. Because usually Indians back then they just play with their hand, you know. They wouldn't use mm. any other tool. But so, is this butter? No, it's probably some laddus or something. 
but they just didn't add many details i think nice man most likely laddus and that much butter how will krishna eat <laughs> it looks nice i mean it, it might as well be butter you know it's also possible yes prabhu is this peak of aya aya next bit pia yeah, I mean, next painting was very confidential you know i'm looking if if jani prabhu is somewhere here <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, there we go, hiding behind the tree. I'm, I'm trapped here, you know. <laughs> Not in the spirit, just kind of. <laughs> what about? Oh, very beautiful. Oh wow, so nice. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. What is this, Vimana? Who is here? That's probably Sri Ramachandra, or either it's or it's just Lord Vishnu and Lakshmi. Hmm. Oh wait, that's Lord Shiva. That's Lord Shiva and Parvati. That's Lord Shiva. Hmm. That's Lord Shiva and Parvati. Ah yes. So they're showering flowers. Oh, there's so many Krishnas. Which one was the first? Hmm. One without a second, huh? I think this Krishna with flute. Yeah, that's actually what Prabhupada means when he says one without a second. You can't say this is the first Krishna, this is the second Krishna. That's why that's what one without a second means. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, I mean it would make sense that the one in the center is the main one. I wonder if each gopi can see the other Krishnas also. Hmm. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, that's actually interesting thought. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe they don't. Maybe they don't notice what is happening around them. Yeah. I think uh, that they don't. They uh, experience like uh, Krishna is only for themselves. Each yes. one of them. It's really a, a, a dance uh, toward the, um, you know, in intimacy. You know, they they they, they think Krishna is only for them. So so I don't I don't think that yeah they will see other. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, this Gopi blushed so much. He's more red than the dress. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> My face looks like this always on the winter when it's so cold and <laughs> all the time when my face is like. <laughs> oh yes, because it's too cold, right? Yes, true. Cold. I remember the sky was like. I think it was also this. Oh, tomorrow we're gonna read. There is the whole description of this. Remember the, the sky oh, I love color was color. mentioned. <clears throat> Very beautiful color for the sky. Like this. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah, this often happens during the late uh, summer in Finland. It becomes completely red. Oh, really? Yes, Prabhu. Oh, it must be beautiful. It, does it happen there? Like, does the sky become pink or? Uh... Yes, pink here, yeah. but red like this, not often. Probably. Yes, Prabhu. When, when we have some eruption of uh, the volcano, you know. Ah, yes, Prabhu. Here, yeah. it will happen. Yes, but not the whole sky, but some part of it. Yeah. Yes, Prabhu. This deer is so fortunate. Yes, Prabhu, and even this little bird. Is it? Oh, yes, it's a bird, yes. Did he have a, a flower? 
I think it's on the ground. Oh. <clears throat> Being kicked by Krishna, or oh, this is Aristasura. See this bird? He also came to witness Krishna's pastimes from really close. Mm. There is always some birds looking and Krishna do this. Meditating on this as it's going on. Yes, Prabhu. Yeah. Very, very high. No, uh, this this is Tadu, you know. Yes, 